Hey what's up guys, today we're learning how to play Commander in Chief by Demi Lovato. Now this is a really nice song, a really powerful song, but it actually uses quite a common chord progression. And really it only has the two basic chord progressions, one for the verse and one for the chorus, and they're very similar anyway. So our verse chord progression will sound like this. So starting on an F. So your first finger goes on the second string, the first fret. Your second finger on the third string, the second fret. Third finger up on the fifth string in the third fret. Your fourth finger just play that on the fourth string in the third fret. Now I'm just using my fingers to pluck those strings, so the fifth, fourth, third, and second string. But you can just as easily strum that using a pick or even using your thumb or your fingers, whatever you want to do, and it's still going to sound fine. But if you are going to pluck with your fingers, use your thumb for the fifth string your first finger for the fourth string, second finger for the third string, and then your third finger for the second string. So F, then to a C. So for the C, your first and third fingers actually stay where they are. So your first finger on the second string in the first fret, and your third finger on the fifth string in the third fret, and then our second finger just goes up on the fourth string in the second fret. And we change to that C on the two and, or halfway between the second and third beats. Then we move to a G, and we're just going to be using a three finger G. So your first finger goes up on the fifth string in the second fret, your second finger on the sixth string in the third fret, and then just using your third finger, or your fourth finger if you wanted to use that instead, but that just goes on the first string in the third fret. And we're going to be plucking the same strings, but moving our thumb, down to the 6th string, then to an A minor. So if you're A minor, put your 1st finger on the 2nd string of the 1st fret, 2nd finger up on the 4th string of the 2nd fret, and then 3rd finger on the 3rd string of the 2nd fret. And moving your thumb back to the 5th string and plucking the same strings again. So, so far we have F, C, G, A minor. Then we move to an E minor. So your first finger up on the fifth string in the second fret, and then your second finger on the fourth string in the second fret. And again, moving our thumb back down to the sixth string and plucking the rest of the same strings. Back to the F. And then any on a C. So that whole chord progression once again. playing those chords on the beat, off the beat, on the beat, off the beat. And we do that once for the intro and then another three times for the first verse. So four times all up so far. And then we move into our first chorus. And our chorus chord progression is a little bit simpler in that it just uses less chords. So it's actually just going to be the same as the verse chords, but cut short a little bit. So F to C to G to A minor. Then we'll repeat that. But instead of moving to A minor, we just stay on that G. And we do that whole thing twice. So F, C, G, A minor, F, C, G. And then the same thing again. And you notice I played that G two different ways there. The first time I just held that G for twice the length. The second time I played that G twice using the same rhythm as the rest of those chords. Up to you which way you want to do that. This song is actually played on guitar. So what we're doing here is just kind of approximating it. Moving on to guitar and making it sound nice. It is going to be a little bit different in some parts. But the chords are the same and it's still going to work really well. Alright guys, I've just realized I've made a small mistake here in terms of the chorus chord progression I've just been playing through the song again and realised that I've made this mistake. So in the chorus chord progression, that's off exactly what I've been telling you. But instead of going F to C to G, we're actually going F to A minor to G. 
Now I've kept the original way of me telling this to you in as well, just so you can kind of see why I'm playing the chords wrong <laughs> for the rest of the video. But keep in mind that's actually an A minor, not a C there. Now after the chorus, before we move into the next verse, we're just gonna do that F, C, G to A minor once. Now our verse two changes up a little bit again here. So we're gonna do it as normal one time through. Then instead of doing it all the way through again, we're just going to do that last bit, so that E minor to F to C. And then we're back into the chorus again. Now in most songs we've got these big dynamics, these lifts and then falls, uh, or hills and valleys if you want to think of it that way, where our dynamics are generally lifting for the choruses and then dropping for the verses. This song does do that a little bit but it's done with a lot of other instrumentation. So I played around with it a little bit on guitar, I recommend you do the same. But there are a couple of different ways. You can strum more, uh, just adding sort of more fullness in, in your strumming pattern. You can just strum louder, uh, or you can add sort of some percussion and that sort of thing in there as well. Which is what I'm tending to do with this song, because I think it sounds really nice to keep those chords fairly sparse. Um, but I'm not gonna go into how to do the percussion sort of thing in this video. The technique of that kind of warrants its own uh, its own video in my opinion. But if you want to know how that sounds, just check out my full uh, cover and my playthrough, which you can find in the description. So this chorus, we do that whole chorus chord progression twice through, and then we actually do the verse chord progression once. So the whole chorus is going to sound like this. that leads straight into a bridge. So the bridge is our lowest point in this song in terms of dynamics. So very sort of bare bones here. If you wanted to, you can just not play guitar at all. Basically what we're doing here, if you do want to play chords, because there are chords going on in the actual song, it's just the verse chord progression one time through, but really softly. So do that nice and softly. You can you can just control sort of your plucking and your strumming. You can, if you've been plucking, maybe move to strumming softly with your thumb. That gives a nice, soft, mellow tone. But as with everything in this song that I've said so far, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Then we go into a third chorus, and that's exactly the same as the second chorus. So the whole chorus chord progression, twice through, and then just end on the uh, verse chord progression. And there we go guys, that's Commander in Chief by Demi Lovato. Make sure to check out my full playthrough to see how that all fits together and see how those dynamics sort of work. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. And if you've got any requests, leave them down there too. And I'll definitely at least have a look at it and try to get to that. Make sure to like and subscribe. I've got Nielsen coming out every single week and it does help support the channel. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Sam. I'll see you next time.